everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well and in today's video i have my makeup collection i've been wanting to film this video for the longest time ever i absolutely love watching these videos so i wanted to film one for myself and i don't have the biggest makeup collection the most organized neatest you know it's not it's not the best makeup collection video you're gonna watch is the camera wonky? But anyway, I still wanted to film it because I'm nosy with things like this and I know other people are. So I own the Alex9 Ikea drawers. A lot of this makeup is very nostalgic. I keep makeup for years. There is a lot of old trending makeup in here, loads of new bits, you know. I've very much got to the point now where I don't buy much makeup just because I feel like I've got enough. And what I've got, I usually stick to and rebuy now. So I've got to a good point gonna let you have a little look into my collection not much more to say apart from i really hope you enjoy this video please make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get into it okay so here is my pride and joy my alex nine drawers i feel like everyone who watched youtube back in the day owned these makeup drawers and honestly they're the best things that i've ever bought Mine isn't the most aesthetic makeup collection ever. So I'm just going to start with what's on top of the drawers. We've got this mirror. Metal always does this. It's really annoying. This is actually from TK Maxx, I think, or HomeSense. I actually really like this. It's got like pearls around it and little little gems. If you do see splodges on here, it is eyebrow dye that I can't get off it. This is also not the most aesthetic thing in the world, but you know, these are the things I reach for basically every day. So Vaseline and Essential. I do need a new trinket dish. And these are eyelashes. Whether I've got a matching set in there, who knows anymore? I just put all my loose eyelashes in there because it's the only place where they don't get lost. I lose them really easily. And we've got some retinol here. I use this like nearly every night. As you can see, it's nearly used up. I've got some Alpha Arbitin, which has helped my skin a lot and then this is just like a random oil if we go back here my cellar water we're nearly empty i must have spent a fortune on this it hurts my heart and then a random toner now this is a mess i've cleaned these so many times and then not actually got round to filming this video so these are quite dirty at the moment i did wash them about a few weeks ago but you know and they're all a bit mishmash we've got some nail scissors eyelash curlers some random silicone sponges in here these are them face shaver things. Three pairs of tweezers, just, you know, in case I lose any. These are my most used eyebrow brushes. And you can probably tell by how dirty they are. One of my favourite little brushes. This is one of my favourite large brushes. I use this to put my foundation on with. Yes, this is a manky hairbrush, hairbrush, toothbrush. I use this to flatten my flyaways. So yeah, that stays in there. Got some Zoeva brushes in here, Urban Decay. This is Real Techniques. We've got a lot of Real Techniques. Honestly, there is such a mishmash of brushes. That's me brush collection. Not the most aesthetic thing in the world but they're essential. This is actually where I do stand and do my makeup every day. Got everything handy on show that I need. So I apologise if this is gonna shake because the tripod don't actually go this high. Um, but here is the first drawer. So like I said, it's not aesthetic at all. We've got some sponges down here. We've also got some hidden little hair clips. Do we need a massive clear out, but I thought I'd film this first and then do the clear out and do like another updated one. You'll probably be able to tell by just looking at this what my favourite concealers are. These are the ones I use probably the most at the moment. These are the NYX Born to Glow. I don't know why I'm using two at the same time. It's questionable. Yeah, and then I've got a contour colour in them. This seems too dark for me, so I've only used it once. Last Imperfection. And then this is the new packaging of the Last Imperfection. Honestly, the best concealer I've probably ever used. This is also an amazing one, the Stay Naked one. This is actually drying up now, which is really upsetting. I've kept it in there to remind me to get a new one. This is properly dried up, the Tarte Shape Tape. This is great for a eye base. We've got some pretty old ones in there, to be honest. And some do need chucking, although that Naked Skin one is really good. Foundation drawer, I probably do use every single one in here this is like a one pound one but i use quite a lot to mix this is my all-time favorite and i'm yet to get a darker shade because as you can probably tell this is so so pale i think i've spoke about this in a video but this is really good and then this is the small version of it this stuff down here is the ex1 
foundation this is great for when i've got fake tan on this is great for a drugstore foundation as well i've gone through many bottles of this it's really good for the money and then i can't really get back here but this is where i keep my primers i actually haven't used this yet i've heard quite a lot about this on tiktok who remembers when there was a big hype about this this post shave balm don't really use that anymore to be honest this has been used to the death and embarrassingly old this is the best primer i've probably ever used so if you do have dupes for this please let me know because it is amazing this is actually empty now so it does make me very sad this is quite nice for hydrating primer it's a crt one this came in a birch box i believe fenty one which is quite a nice one for hydrating but i don't know if it actually makes your highlight your highlight i don't know if it actually makes your makeup last much longer to be honest setting sprays um this is a random one that i use if i know i'm not wearing makeup for that long although it's actually not that bad so if you do want an affordable one this is quite good i usually use this to wet my soap for my eyebrows this stuff is the best i don't really need to say much more you've probably heard me talk about this actually this is the best setting spray that i've ever tried i've got a morphe one down here that which is like a really fine mist a mini urban decay one i do need to rebuy an urban decay one because they are also really good and that is a elf one. If you watched my testing elf makeup, you would see me try that. And that is drawer number one. So this is drawer number two. This is very full. It's quite embarrassing. This is where I keep all of my cream products. I'm a sucker for cream contour. So this one is really good. Um, I don't know if it's discontinued, so I'm not going to talk about this. And they also discontinued this. So I'm also not going to talk about that. Down here, I've got multiple benefit tints that i've probably owned for way too long but i'm loving these at the moment got some random cream ones down here as well like this one that came in a birch box this is a really nice one from body shop actually it's a honey bronze cream blush it looks a bit dirty so that's quite embarrassing so this is all of my blushes this is quite a jam-packed drawer. We've got Soap and Glory, Ted Baker. This is a really old tart cream one. This is a MAC one, Fleur Power. Quite old, but it's a really good one. This is a cute little NARS one, the Mini Orgasm Blush. This is probably my most used. I've definitely spoke about this before. Soap and Glory Love at First Blush. It just looks like this. Very worn. Bronze is here. This is my all-time fave as you can tell i need a new one physician's formula butter bronzer in light bronze this was also a firm favorite before i discovered the physician's formula this also needs repurchasing the balm this is a morphe one not use this too much because it is very dark if you do fancy an affordable one these are really good this is makeup obsession you can get these in boots i think they're only like a pound so you can't really go wrong we've got mini benefit i can't get them back in these are all highlighters i do need a clear out of these as well because some i'm not a fan of this is a really good one this came in a birch box this is amazing you cannot go wrong if you've got a similar skin tone to me you cannot go wrong with this i've been using this for years and i've still got loads left this is actually a misguided one this isn't the right color that's oh that is very broke that one's chucking ofra i used to wear this on nights out as you can tell i only dip in certain colors but this is really nice this is like mega intense and we've got a mini ofra one here these mini ones are actually really good they last for ages just a nice gold color in rodeo drive so back here this is just a mishmash of everything that's a bit too big to fit in the other pots got a fancy highlighter here not a huge fan of this you could probably see the little sleek one hanging back there that used to be raved about so much um this is an avon one don't really use that this is mega old this is a nice little compact I used to use this quite a lot the naked flushed palettes as you can tell i was obsessed with old school youtube by the products in here and they're very old powders are back here this is the rimmel stay matte and i swear to god i can never finish one of these without breaking it it either smashes itself in the actual powder or the packaging it drives me insane rca makeup no color powder this got hyped up a lot as well back in the day the only thing about this is really messy this is a mac one that i've nearly use the whole thing up um, there's random ones back here that I don't really use collection and avon the holly boon soft focus please excuse the grown out nails by the way so this is the eye draw this is an eyebrow soap now this is disgusting oh i just trapped my finger in it 
yep that's gross and that's also a soap this drawer is just ugly so i've got some eyelash glues down here well that's some mascara and so is that in here we've just got eyeliners like dark brown eyeliner this has come in back in trends like over the years so many times it's great liquid liners like soap and glory one this is a maybelline one i weren't a fan of this not gonna lie oh i wondered where that went we've got a brow thing that's also a mascara liquid liner this is the best pencil liner if you ever need one get this pencil sharpener that's disgusting that compartment is gross i've got way too many mascaras it just goes on forever favorites at the moment is this to use first and then this i know kat von d changed her makeup brand so it's actually kvd but i've looked and they still do this this mascara is so good roller lash the best mascara ever Kim remember when this was hyped up back in the day very nostalgic benefit bad girl bad girl bang jesus christ i can't speak a lot of these in here i don't really use that snapped in half like we are a hot mess in here There's also some eyebrow things as well talking about eyebrows this is my favorite at the moment the l'oreal unbeliever brow and then we have some avon pomades these aren't too bad but i did go a bit off with the colors revolution anastasia beverly hills this is very well loved kind of embarrassing we've got a lot of the benefit ones because benefit do the best eyebrow products if you didn't know yeah this drawer isn't much better to be honest i don't even know where to start these are big compacts that don't fit in their dedicated drawer barry m it's well loved this is a pretty old revolution one this has no need to be so chunky like look what a waste of packaging this is a revolution cream contour palette this is really good for these colours for when you want to carve out your eyebrows. This is disgusting. A Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and an Anastasia glow kit. I'm not a fan of the colours in here, but they are very pretty, I must say. Here we have cream products, so that's never... I don't even think that's mine. Um, this one's really nice, if it, they still do it. Collection Glam Crystals are also very very nice mac painterly paint pot here this should probably be in the concealer drawer to be honest i'm not sure why it's here back in the day i was a big fan of these Stila ones back here we have single eyeshadows so these are the maybelline ones i don't think i've used these in years these are ColourPop ones also very nostalgic oh my goodness i've got quite a few of the ColourPop ones i forget i own them to be honest and we've got a mac I think that's melon pigment back there in a little mac don't know what that is a different well a different mac pigment then we go to the back of the drawer where we have eyelashes how pretty are these i kind of don't want to use them for how pretty this packaging is and then we've also got a pair of these kiss ones i usually have a few more pairs but i've used them because I'm so bad at losing eyelashes, honestly. Although this is very messy, it's organised to me. Um, if you couldn't tell, I like nude lipstick. These are all of my lip liners. Kylie one here. The Barry M one. I think that's New Look. NYX. Essence. Also forgot I owned that. I usually reach for the MAC ones literally every single day. This one is also really nice as well. LA Colours. That's a really affordable one. Definitely a MAC dupe and some Morphe ones, which are also really nice and they just get stuffed down there. Back here we have lipsticks, literally all kinds of brands back here. I wish I was coordinated by brands, but I'm not. Favourite ones at the moment, Morphe. I've only just recently discovered how great Morphe lipsticks are. Oh my God, I should not have opened that. That's disgusting. These are basically MAC lipsticks. So if you were not wanting to pay MAC price, Morphe are great. Speaking of MAC, we do have quite a few MAC ones. I think I'm missing one. Don't know where that is. This is a Cinderella one. Look how well loved this is. MAC lipsticks we have Will, Midi Mauve, Velvet Teddy, Honey Love and Captive. Honey Love is my all time favorite. <laughs> it's gone really stubby. And then we've got lip glosses here, liquid lipsticks. It's pretty stressful to look at to be honest. Morphe lip glosses are great. How cute are these two faced 
lipsticks. I actually haven't used these yet because I'm a bit scared of colour lipsticks. They're all NYX ones up there. NYX, what are they called? You know the cream lipsticks? And we've got the lingerie ones. Lip scrub. These lip injections are so, so good. I love them. These are ColourPop. More ColourPop down here. That's the one and only Kylie lipstick I ever got. One of her lip kits. I feel like I'm missing a few. That is basically the vibe of the lipstick drawer. A mishmash of brands. This is my favourite lip gloss ever. My friend actually got this for me. It's just so, so nice. I need to get more colours of this. That is the mishmash of the lip drawer. I love it. I own way too many lipsticks, but I'm not going to chuck them away just because they're out of date, do you know what I mean? And I haven't got diseased lips yet, so... Now, this is the last drawer. So, if you can't tell, this is the eyeshadow drawer. I love eyeshadow although i'm not very adventurous when it does come to eyeshadow i usually just stick to what i know i have three Too faced palettes yep love the packaging of that this is my holiday palette very well loved and the good old chocolate bar i've got some mini ones down here that i don't really use there's like so many different brands down there this is probably my everyday one this is just so easy to use it looks like i haven't even touched it but i basically use it every day another very well loved one Morphe. I've got a mini Jaclyn Hill down here. She's very pretty. This is a MAC one. I really love the packaging for this. Um, NYX. A Christmas Elf one. Morphe. Oh, this is an all matte palette. This is an oldie, but a goodie. Morphe 3502. No, 350. Great colours in there. And then this is the 3502. It's a little bit brighter, but still lovely. I haven't actually used this as much as I'd like, but this is definitely the brightest eyeshadow palette I will ever own. Highly recommend these Beauty Bay palettes. They are gorgeous. This, I can remember I spent all of my wages one month to get this, which is like £42. It's just so nice. And I've recently rediscovered this because it was hidden at the very back of the drawer. I just love it so much. Three naked palettes. This is extremely nostalgic. I used to absolutely love this thing. Still kind of do, to be fair. I love the colours. They're so cute. This is the Naked Smoky palette. Haven't really used this that much, but it is a great thing to have. It's got loads of silvers and greys in there. The Naked Cherry. Love the packaging to this. It's so cute. And this is what this one looks like. Very pretty. And that is it. And that is my makeup collection. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe down below and comment what kind of makeup you love as well. That might be my collection or anything you recommend that I buy. If you've got any video ideas, please let me know down below. But that just leaves me to say I hope you enjoyed and goodbye. To myself. What a wonderful world.